The Sea Wolves from 1980, directed by Andrew McLaughlin and produced by the incredible Ewan Lloyd, is a British wartime adventure set in and around India and Goa in 1943. It's got an all-star cast that includes Gregory Peck, Roger Moore and David Niven. 46 freighters sunk by German submarines in the Indian Ocean in the past month. Look, damn it, we've got to get rid of that transmitter. Do you know how many lives depend on supplies that are lying at the bottom of the Indian Ocean? I think our first priority is to find whoever heads the spy ring. The screenplay is by Reginald Rose and it's based on a book, Boarding Party, by James Lesser, which is itself based on a true story. Well, in fact, it's based on several true stories because there were numerous secret missions to harbours during the Second World War by the Secret Operations Executive, the SOE. When a lot of Allied shipping is being lost in the Indian Ocean, SOE agents, played by Gregory Peck and Roger Moore, go into Goa to investigate. They find that interred German ships in Marmagoa Harbour, which is part of the neutral Portuguese colony of Goa, are secretly radioing information to U-boats out in the Indian Ocean and causing a lot of Allied shipping to be sunk. As Goa is neutral territory, a military solution is absolutely out of the question. And so the SOE agents think, well, what can we do? And that's when they call upon the services of the Calcutta Light Horse. Now, they're a bunch of reservists, businessmen, tea planters. They haven't seen action for years. As David Niven describes them, they're all thin on top and rather thick around the middle. But every single one of them volunteered for active service when war was declared. And they all volunteered to take part in this particular operation. And that's when they take part in Operation Creek. That's the real name for the secret mission into Goa Harbour. The Calcutta Light Horse, disguised as drunken businessmen on a business trip to Goa, sneak into the harbour, secretly board the ships, smash the radios, and then apply limpet mines to all of the offending ships and sink them before quickly making their escape. Start engines! Start engine! Somebody, what the hell's gone wrong? The All Star cast is led by Gregory Peck, who plays Colonel Lewis Pugh. Cold, efficient, he doesn't like what he has to do, but he knows it's a job that has to be done, and he gets on with it, really portraying the character as quiet, unassuming, and absolutely ruthless when he needs to be. Roger Moore quite often ends up playing himself in just about every film that he's in, and here he's Captain Gavin Stewart, one of the SOE agents. He plays the role with great humour, great compassion, but beneath all that there's a serious character who knows there's a job that needs to be done. David Niven is retired businessman Colonel Grice, leader of the Calcutta Light Horse. Are you expecting my men to volunteer without having the faintest idea what they're volunteering for? Right. Unfortunately, Bill, there'll be no pay in it. No pensions if anyone's killed or wounded. And no credit. It all sounds unbelievably attractive to me. Love it. Trevor Howard appears as Jack Cartwright, a tea planter who's lost his son in the war and wants to have a go, and so volunteers for the mission. He's got a dicky heart and is initially turned down, but Roger agrees to take him and give him a chance to get his own back at the Germans. Barbara Kellerman is Mrs Cromwell, a believable German spy based in Goa. Stuart, played by Roger Moore, meets her at a cafe and he tries to spark up a relationship, but she knows who he is and starts to play him at his own game. And Patrick McNee is Major Yogi Crossley, the yoga-loving explosives expert. The film's produced by Ewan Lloyd, a highly accomplished British film producer. I guess most notably he's known for The Wild Geese, which sees Roger Moore, Richard Burton and Richard Harris as mercenaries in Africa. Ewan had intended to reunite Roger Moore with Richard Burton and Richard Harris in The Sea Wolves, but unfortunately that casting fell through. But when you look at the supporting cast and the crew from the Sea Wolves, there's an awful lot of names that reappear from the Wild Geese. For example, Kenneth Griffith, Jack Watson, Percy Herbert, Patrick Allen, Brooke Williams. The screenplay was also by Reginald Rose. It was also directed by Andrew McLaughlin. And the composer was Roy Budd. It really feels like you and Lloyd like to gather together his film production A-Team. And for the Sea Wolves and the Wild Geese, it really works. It's really you and Lloyd at his best. A stellar cast, great writing, great locations and tremendous production values. It's full of tense action served with a little light humour. In particular, the interplay between Roger Moore and David Niven, who in real life were great friends and near neighbours in Switzerland and the south of France. 
Overall, I think the Sea Wolves is good, honest, escapist fun. It's got a great producer, a great cast, Roger Moore, Gregory Peck, David Niven, and a wonderful supporting cast to go with it. It's well written, well shot, great locations too. And because it's based on a true story, I think that gives it a real edge. You know there's a grain of truth in what you're seeing. But overall, good story, very entertaining, and absolutely well worth a view. Please do leave some comments down below and tell us what you think of the Sea Wolves. If you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing and clicking that little notifications button too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.